playing Jenga, and you said during the break that you heard that I was a cheater. I did hear that. No, I am not. No, I heard that. I am competitive, but I will never cheat. Listen, Ellen. What? Black people take games like this very serious. Yeah. Okay. You want to go first? I'll go first. Right, one hand. One hand. Go. I'll go first. Go. Strategy to All my right. Jenga. Strategy to my Jenga. All right. My piece is out. Don't cheat. Well, then consider me black. Okay. I, I, well, don't, don't I, cheat. I feel the same All way. All right. Okay. All right. Now, now because because we're, this needs to be like a speed jingle, so don't take too long. No. Nope. And we're going one hand. Why y'all clap for Alan Shea? You that crazy? <laughs> Put your piece on the top. One hand out. Okay, go ahead. Oh, that's gonna fall. That's gonna fall. That's so gonna fall. Everybody knows don't go to the bottom. Everybody knows that. <laughs> ah. Ah. It doesn't matter how slow yes, you it go. Yes, it does. Gonna... If I get this piece to it... go back some. No. Oh, no. So close. It's, it's not. It's gonna fall. <laughs> We're back with my co-host for the day, Kevin Hart. I thought it'd be fun to play one of my favorite games with him. It's called Five Second Rule. And I you answer and you hit the button. You have to do it within five seconds. I'll start so you can see what we're talking about. I don't need to see it. I'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ellen, name... Kevin, name three things you do on your honeymoon. Uh, do it, eat, uh, swim. <laughs> three places to go on a date. Uh, you can go to a restaurant, a movie, or a park. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Kevin Hart, Kevin Neal, and Kevin Spacey. Mm. <laughs> See, you do it at the end. I get it. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> 2.4. Much faster than you. <laughs> I was way faster than you. <laughs> All right, Ellen, name three famous Kevins. You're a married man. I know, off the market. <laughs> Calm down, ladies. It's all gone, ladies. You missed your chance. You missed your chance. <laughs> you had a chance. You chose 50 cent. You two. You chose wrong. She chose wrong back then. <laughs> I, stop. Why is he trying to steal? Look at him. You see that? That might have been the most blunt act of racism I've ever seen in my life. Like, what? As I'm talking about what he doesn't like, he just gets up and turns his back. So I, uh, I propose, man, and I can honestly say, will you stop, stop laughing? No, I was serious when I said that. I, that wasn't a joke. I was serious. I'm happy, though. She deserves it because I can't keep just letting this walk around free. That's not fair to her. Like, I gotta, I gotta lock this up. I'm talking about my body. That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, <laughs> so, so, so. Let me ask you a question. Ask me. I'm listening. I was looking at your Instagram. Stay! <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go. Go ahead. Go ahead. You... No, no, no. Let's, let's all just take the time to understand that. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I'm a big deal. I'm a big deal. But, but, oh, thank you. You are, he has remained the same. You have remained the same. You're a very normal person. You have the same people around you. And I will say that for, for you. I well, mean, you, you and better say with, it because with, it's the truth. Yeah, well, I just fucking said it. I mean, how many more times do you want me to say it? Would she? If first she, of all, she doesn't want to do it. She shouldn't have to do it. She definitely would. That's the first thing. I mean, I don't think that you, you I don't no think she would. I didn't kiss Holly Berry in my movie because I didn't want to mess up Holly Berry's life. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's what you need to understand. If your thoughts are, oh my God, Kevin's lips smelt like roses and cinnamon, then that's, that's bad. <laughs> Is that what you think your lips smell like, uh, roses and cinnamon? A hundred percent. Who told you that? They smell like roses and cinnamon <laughs> and cucumber watermelon. You don't, you don't kiss these lips and go back to regular lips. <laughs> these, are, these are some amazing kissing lips. So I said, I'm not going to do that to you, Holly. I said, I think it's best 
that we don't cross that line because when you leave here today, you should be thinking of good thoughts. If I've known her. I've, I've known her for quite How? some time. Where did you meet her? What do you mean where you meet? You meet people around. You go to these parties, you bump into people, you go, oh my God, I love you. I'm a big fan. Then they go, who are you? And I'm like, I'm Kevin Hart. This is when I was nobody. Hey, stop it. <laughs> That's when it hit that I was really a sex symbol. Uh, <laughs> Because I was like, this is obviously about sex. She's trying to get to me. And I she told her. She obviously wants your baby. No, and I was like, yo, you know I'm engaged. I let it out the way. Because at the time, I was engaged. And I was like, I regret that I didn't kiss her. Um, I do a little bit, because I was like, that was my moment. I should have did it there. Because uh, I, I was hard the whole time. And, and, and this is. And throw food at me, which is never good. You no. Know? It's never good. And I said, who threw it? You know, you expect it to be quiet so you can say some stuff to just look like you're about to defend right. yourself. And he was like, I did. And I said, well, well, shit. Brother, this was at a different time in my life. Sweet Cheeks was a male strip club, and uh, I wasn't dancing. Right. You uh, the audience more. Yeah, you know, I would basically, okay, let me explain it. Mm -hmm. So the strippers, and I was on stage one time, and this lady was like, pull your dick out. And I was like, wait a minute now. I ain't even about that. I'm up here slinging these jokes. I'm here for the joke life, you know? Uh, but they didn't want to hear that. Why wow, they changing? <laughs> we got the show some, going. We got some comedy. And uh, it wasn't really a good segue. It doesn't you know, seem like just, it would be. It would, it would go from the, the male strippers, and they would go, introducing Lil' Calf the Bastard. That was my name at the time. But, but, there's some shit going on, man. You know, I don't know how this is going to come out. I, I'm about to... Fucking shit fire. That's what's about to happen, man. This shit is hot. Ooh, we out here, boy. Get there. Hey, my lips. Hey, my fucking lips. My lips feel like they bleeding. I don't know what's going on, man. Here, you'd never put this on a sandwich. It's for psychos. It's for people who've burned out. I see why I caught the bomb, because that bitch just blew up. <laughs> What we say? Oh, shit. You say what? So I want to give you a few between a rock and a hard place scenarios, and you tell me how you'd look at it as glass half full. Sound good? Yeah. Getting booed off stage. Okay. Getting booed off stage. Oh. <coughs> Woo! <laughs> give, me, give me a water, man! See me over here struggling? Shit! <laughs> huh? That sound like a black dude made this shit. <laughs> 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 so, there always seems to be two approaches to, to fashion right and now. comedy, right? You can either dress like you. I said, what you say, man? <laughs> this shit making me delirious. What? That's what it does. I feel, like, I feel like I done did a drug, man. That's what it does. It gets kind of trippy. Yeah, I'm high. <laughs> shit. All right. Hold on, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm hot as shit. <laughs> Uh, he sitting here like ain't shit going on. He I'm over here breaking down, brother. I'm, I'm breaking down, man. I'm fucking. Man, I feel like a goddamn cokehead out this bitch. My nose and shit running. I'm sniffling the shit. <laughs> Hold on, man. You go first. Me go first? You go first, bro. I'm a guess. Okay. Oh, shit. Why you got to make eye contact? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to tell you, yes, it actually came from an Irish forefather that did this. That's not the case. His mother was reading the paper and she was eating some cereal, and somebody in the back said, oh, Shay. She said, that'd be a good name for the baby. And that's it. That's how it happened. <laughs> Right, let me educate you something. Black people, black people are notorious for picking things that they saw one day and say, that's my baby name. <laughs> that's all that was, okay? That's all that was, Grandma. Yeah! Are you really there? No. Yeah. Roy's rolls no. can't be that big. First of all, it looks like I grew up there. <laughs> that's called my highlighter running outfit. <laughs> so, yeah. Right there. You see that? So, you wear that. Yes. Yes. That's incredible. Yes. That looks very good, man. That's a terrific idea. I am the opposite. Uh, I'm, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm dark skinned. So when I when I when I run at nighttime, I'm afraid because I don't want to get hit by a car. 
So what I do is I find bright colors from the gym. That you're friends with a lot of athletes. I am. I am. Well, well you're hanging out with you're, you're hanging out with uh, Shaquille O'Neal. I know. I know them all, man. You you go down the list. You know these guys like to be around me because of my uh, my physical attributes. Uh, you know, oh, it's, it's, it's motivation because you know. First of all, I'm a, I'm a dad first. You understand? Respect me as a father. So when I'm disciplining my kids and I'm yelling, when I'm done, don't turn around and grab me and shake me and pat me on the back. Uh, our, our relationship took a turn for the worse uh, not too long back because Shaq has a habit of picking me up in front of my kids, and, and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, he picks you up? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit because because you're taking away what I just did. You yes. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's very hard for me to go back and say sit down to my yes. kids yes. when Shaq is telling me to do the same thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. And I stopped talking to him for a while. Yeah, we play twins. But here's the funny thing when he pitches it. He says, now listen, I'm going to be the Arnold Schwarzenegger and you're going to be the Danny DeVito. As if it could have been the opposite way. Okay? <laughs> like, what, what, what other way could it have been, Chad? To this stuff? Make that movie. No, no. Come I'll you, produce it. Yeah, you I just me bet like... you will to yeah. laugh and see me get picked up every no. damn day. <laughs> you don't fool me, Colin. <laughs> you don't fool me. What I feel, I feel like the three of us should collab, and I got the perfect role because you didn't have time to say collaborate. You no, collab. No time for that. Collab. I'm too cool. You didn't have time for socks I'm and no time for the cool rates. For yeah. full words. Okay. I don't go full words. Got it. You get so much attention, and all I'm doing, I'm picturing being in the scene, serious scene. Something's about to go down, and the only way I get distracted is because you walk by, and I'm like, <laughs> something just went bad. You could be street walker number one. Street walker number one. Listen, not number two. Street walker. We kept saying the way you walk. Like, Shit. No. This isn't Shit. you. It's not you in real life. I want to be in the car with you guys. I have a gun. Equal status. That's and, you're, and you're mad because we didn't pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm street walker. <laughs> I'm not a male prostitute. I'm not. I'm not saying you are, but in the movie you could be. <laughs> in the movie. No, no, it's a movie. <laughs> and now I'm mad. Then you pull out your gun. I got guns at the end. But they're not loaded because you've never had to use them because you're a good street walker. <laughs> Wow. That's the plot line? <laughs> I'm a male it. prostitute? <laughs> I take care of you guys and you didn't pay me? <laughs> what kind of movie is that? <laughs> you can't keep a straight face. I can't even keep a straight face. <laughs> Y'all don't know how much we mess with him because oh, yeah. of the way he walks. We're like, he's like, Connor, man, you gotta, you gotta. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way I walk. Oh, oh God. That's the way I walk. Oh, God. I have a condition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, white I'm people, showing, white I, people I, always got to go first and last. You always got to do them both. Ice Cube. Now call him Cube. You know, from now on, I call him Cube. And then call me, call me Lil Kev. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want a sandwich, but can you guys give me the I see I go bun? And <laughs> I'll never forget, I'll never forget how complicated his order was at Wendy's. And me and Q really looked, it was like, this might be the whitest shit I've ever seen. Said, okay, there's okay. a scene. Uh -huh. We can do a scene where I come in and I gotta talk to white guy number one. Uh -huh. You know, I say something like, hey, did you see where that guy went? And you're like, that way. Cut! You're done. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I, I want to be some. I want to be uh, street. Why not? White guy number one can be street. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even say that without laughing. No. Okay. White guy number one can be street. <laughs> <laughs> You have done uh, just so amazingly well in stand up. You damn right I have. Yes. <laughs> you damn right. I have. Yes. Yes. So throughout my show, I have a bunch of pointless fire. Like it has, There's has no, the, old, the best fire is pointless no, fire. No, literally, it has nothing to do with my show. Like after a joke, people laugh and I go, get fire. And it just, <laughs> it just explosion. I want to take a second to uh, give a shout out to my co-star, Regina Hall, because uh, oh, right, it, was, Regina it was, Hall. no, yeah. Regina Hall, very, very funny female, man. Funny, yeah, very funny. funny. Who doesn't like Regina uh, Hall? You know, the, the, like you said, it's a, it's a remake of the original movie about last night, but uh, this is my first sex scene, people. And, uh, um, you know, it's what the people wanted.
Uh, it is, it is. People were curious, and, and they're going to get what they've been asking for. You know what? And Regina, you know, this was tough for her because she, you know, she couldn't get through a lot of these takes because for her, it was real. You know, like it's, I'm acting, I'm acting. You're just doing like, the professional I'm doing what I'm supposed to do scene, yeah. as an actor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, guys, you're gonna see a piece of my butt. It's not, I didn't go full butt, it's just the top part of my butt crack. It's confusing, cause it, it looks like it could be a roach or my butt crack, it's, <laughs> but it's something. It's definitely something. She's like, oh, I don't wanna cut. And I'm like, you, you have to, it's the nature of the business, you know? Uh, but I don't blame her, I definitely don't blame her. I see why she was doing what she was doing. <laughs> it's something. It's something. <laughs> Thank you for clearing yeah. that up. Yeah, no, I don't want you, you don't want that like, getting out there. Ew, yeah. Kev's got a roach in his butt. Yeah. No, it's not. That's Bad my butt. hygiene on that. Yeah. That's right, ladies. I'm gonna take this little piece of chocolate and freeze it up. That's right. <laughs> Off the market, ladies. Off the market. <laughs> Wait, I didn't enjoy that. You don't this is the number one. You don't go over, honey. Well, I'll just check out until the <laughs> wedding. <laughs> yeah. You don't think that's gonna work? You're screwed, no. <laughs> no budget. I just don't want to There's be... no budget. I don't understand, all right? I've, no, I've no, 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 you're to... talking to, we, yeah. we're well, not married understand. together anymore, but uh, 21 years I've been married. We're each married. We've yeah, been yeah. married for 21, 21 years, yeah, yeah. Holy shnikey diddles. Yeah. 21 years. <laughs> wow. And so if I step out of it, it's just you, it's your thing. Yeah. I want you to have the best day ever, babe, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna be a part of that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't want that, I don't want, I just don't want that. I, that I, is wise. Yeah, that yeah. is wise. There's gonna be like, I need help with these decisions. Yeah, and, that's, that's yeah, and you're just gonna say no. Yeah. All right. Well, to, to her face. Yeah. Good luck with to her that. face. Yeah. Baby, can you help me? Nope. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I got a big dopamine pinch. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just make the wedding planner really uncomfortable to be around oh. me. Just sit in some underwear with holes in them on the couch, playing with my belly button. <laughs> that's him. That's the guy you marrying. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing guy. I, I can say in the top two most amazing people that I've ever had the opportunity to work with. Mm -hmm. um, thank Brown you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. Yeah. I got what you were saying. Top two. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, you took it. You yeah, actually I took did. It. I took it. You just took it. I not only took it. I made it up. <laughs> uh, no, he's a he's rounded great. man, just down to earth. The first black bear. I'm not talking about a newer black. The first one, and it's like taped up. And he's like, yeah. He's like, they'll never get me. I was like, who? Who? <laughs> Who, who are you afraid of, Will? That's the like, one that has a little crank on No, nothing. Right. I'm the only dumbass that spends all his money on clothes. I'm gonna be broke. <laughs> I already know it. Y'all gonna look up, I ain't gonna have no money. Where is it? Right here. This is, a, <laughs> <laughs> this is where it went. Right here. Every dime. Right here. Because like, for some reason, when you put on something expensive, you step outside, you expect people to go, that's expensive. Like, right. they, they, they don't. They don't, they don't, they never, don't know? Never gotten one of them, not one. <laughs> Nobody has ever done it. Said, you know what I'm gonna do at the end of my show? I'm gonna turn around, show the back of my jacket, and put up a peace sign. The crowd gonna go off. I did it. Nobody said nothing. Nobody <laughs> said nothing. It was absolute silence. It was a no. pro-war yeah. crowd. Yeah. A Sometimes getting no laugh is much funnier than getting the laugh. Oh, for, for you, because you understand, but you know. What do you mean for me? <laughs> No, 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 not like that. It's a one, crowd that likes war. One you know? person was like, what's that on his back? I, was like, so I, did, I did the peace sign to try to show y'all. I think it's about peace. school crossing. It was nothing, yeah. nothing. We have a photo here. This man is stopping you. Yeah. Yeah. This man is stopping you from getting up there. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this exchange. What's well, happening here? The Super Bowl, you're at yeah. the Super Bowl. Eagles win. This is a giant night for the Eagles. Yeah. Giant night for you. You're yeah. a big fan. You tried to get up on stage during the trophy presentation. Yeah. He thank, did his job. And thank he's good God. Yeah. Thank yeah. God he did his job that day because that was a little thing uh, called intoxicated. Yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, because of, first of all, you know, it was, it was done correctly. All right. I don't get that many days. Uh, we win and something in my head said, I need to go down there with the team. <laughs> like, you know, I'm moving gates out the way. Watch out. So you can't move that. I'm Kevin Hart. <laughs> it's just going, it's going way too good. We took everybody out the suite. 
We have no passes. We have no... There's nothing to get us by the people right. that we're getting by. I'm literally walking by people, and they're like, excuse me, sir, I'm out of Kevin Hart. I'm going down... <laughs> middle of the Eagles huddle. They're pushing me around. It's great. I know this because I watched the video later. They say... <laughs> they say... Which, which, is, which is how you know you were at this the Super Bowl. Know, This is how I know. This is how I know. I called you to come with me. I don't know. I got to get your new email address. That's what it is. I sent that... You called me on my email address? Yeah. I, I, called, I called your... You don't have... You don't answer your Hotmail line. I yeah. called you... Dude, huge, huge Justin Timberlake fan, man. Yeah, please, man. Uh, Justin Timberlake, guys, one more time. Come on. <laughs> Huge, huge fans. Now, now that I'm gonna, you got the money, you yeah. gave it to me. Uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. No, I'm serious. I saw him at like Home Depot two weeks ago. Just, but yeah. He was helping people. Like he wasn't even shopping. He was just helping people <laughs> put stuff in the car. I'm Shaq. I don't have Shaq? nothing to do. You want me to grab it? I'll help you. <laughs> he Hiding in the back. What is Shaq doing? I'm saying, since his retirement, he, he has nothing to do. He's in the most random places. <laughs> I said, oh, well, thank you. No, I just, I just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Hey, 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 no, no, I'm, I'm just small. Like, look, here's, here's the bad part with me. Like, if I sit all the way back, look. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> now, what, what happened to your shoulder? You hurt your shoulder. What happened? Dude, I hurt my shoulder. Thanks for picking me up. I could have died just now. You don't even know what happened to me. <laughs> no. It's very serious, people. I suffered a very serious injury this weekend. I'm a daredevil. You know that, okay? Yeah. I'm a thug, Jay. Uh, my background speaks for itself. I've yeah. been to jail. Listen, what I'm saying, uh, so we get off of the tube. I'm like, yeah, I want to do it. So he's got me and my brother. We both get on separate now. I was scared at first, but then in my mind, I start thinking like, oh, I'm going to stick it. Like, I'm going to come down. And people are watching. They're going to be like, oh, this is probably what Kevin Hart does on the side. So I was right, like, right. okay. I don't know I'm hurt at the time. I hear everybody on the boat. They're like, oh, my God, Kevin. It sounded just like that. They're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I heard again? It was like, oh, my God, Kevin. Okay, these, these, are, so, <laughs> yeah, these was, are all white people on the boat. No, no. <laughs> so, so once I saw I couldn't get it up, this is when I started to panic a little bit. I didn't cry, but you probably would have thought that that's what it was. Right. Because it was. <laughs> <laughs> like, but, so, like, at this point in time, I'm flagging a guy because I want help. I'm like, remember? And you was like, you were fine. Someone was like, Shaq, you jammed your toe. You was like, argh. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same thing. So I saw it. I panicked. I lied to you not. I passed out, like, because I saw my shoulder out the socket. He was like, you're going to be all right. And I was like, too late. I'm going. And I, <laughs> it was over. I woke up in the hospital. It was popped back in. I'm at a different point in my yeah, life. Yeah. I'm not lying anymore. I think that was my biggest problem when I was married. I was a liar. Like, liar? Yes, dude. Yeah. I used to lie all the yeah. time. For no reason. Just yeah. because I could. Like, I'm serious. Like, stupid stuff. Kevin, what time is it? Six o'clock? No, it's not. I don't care. I thought it was. It's like, dude, you can't feed pigeons and tell a black woman that you fed pigeons. She's not going to believe you. Yeah. Like, yeah. what you doing? I'm feeding pigeons. No, you're not. I am. Listen. She's like, no. That's a girl. That's a girl. You tell that bitch. Stop making pigeons. <laughs> you know what? My family, man, is, is, is the best. I got a great support group. My brother make me laugh, though. My brother, I call him King Negative. Mm -hmm. No matter how great something is, my brother finds a negative in it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never seen anything like it. Like, I just bought land. And I'm like, yo, man, I'm a, instead of going out looking for a house, I bought land, I'm just going to build a house. He was like, good luck. You got no experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not physically building a house. That's his thing. In his mind, he's real. I don't care what it is. Right. It's the most negative thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I've called my brother. Hey, Ken, yo, number one in the box office. Yeah, domestic. You didn't get released. <laughs> <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Like, dude, let me enjoy this. I'm just giving it to you real. What is your problem? <laughs> it's just nonstop. I'm like, I love you to death, but it never fails. I don't care what it is.
So when I see things, it makes me laugh. One guy called me, he's like, oh, never seen anything more annoying than Kevin Hart and that little voice. It's just like a little Muppet with a battery. And I was like, I was like that's, that's pretty good. I said, I, you know what I do though? I love, I love actually reading the worst stuff about me. You do? I swear it's the fun, it makes me laugh. Like, I'm, I, first of all, I got thick skin, I'm a comedian. So I've, I've talked about people, I've been talked about, that's the nature of my craft, of my business. So I was like, you're the best, and I sign it, and then give him a big <laughs> bottle of wine. That must confuse the, wine. the hell out of yeah, it. Yeah, it makes him, what is, what is he saying? But they yeah. drank the wine. I know they drank <laughs> the wine. It's the best. You're a huge name, probably the biggest name in comedy right now, you, and man. you can have a private island to, to hang out on, but everybody has to start somewhere, and when you started out, it was, it was rough. It was, yeah. tough. it was tough going in the beginning. For me, yeah, in the beginning, heck yeah, it was tough. I remember one time, I was doing the show, Right? There was only 15 people there. But every time I went to go tell my punchline, somebody threw a strike. Dead serious. Like, <laughs> it's a live bowling alley. They're bowling it, while they're you're bowling. telling Listen, jokes? I'm in the middle lane. There's people bowling down here, people bowling down here. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm talking about a comedian, man. I used to do uh, spots for food, you know, doing stand-up comedy. Uh, so when you go tough, you're talking about a guy who used to perform live shows in a bowling alley. And I'm like, man, listen, I don't know about y'all. Bang! Yeah. <laughs> Man, listen, I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I never told one joke. I just kept starting over and over again. You can go out, do what you want to do. I'm going to support you. After that, if you don't find a way to feed yourself, then you got to go, you got to go back to school. You got to do something productive. I said, Mom, okay, give me a year doing this comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, when I needed an apartment and I went and got one on my own, I couldn't afford the rent because I was trying to do comedy. So my mom, she was very religious. She said, look, Kevin, I'm going to put you on my back. I got you for a year. Mom, you didn't give me rent this month. She's like, well, did you read your Bible? I'm like, Mom, look, I don't have time to talk about the Bible and stuff right now. I need the money. Like, this is for real. They're going to kick me out. She's like, read your Bible, then talk to me. Mom, okay, goodbye. I hang up with my mom. Did you read your Bible? Mom, I, I don't want to read the Bible right now. I'm, I'm not going to have a place to read it in a minute if you don't give me the money. Right. She's like, look, I'm not going to do this with you, Kevin. Read your Bible, talk to me. It gets close to the third month. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, they're really threatening to kick me out. I finally opened up my Bible. When I opened it up, my mom put all of the checks for the rest of the year in the Bible. Amazing. So I open it and all of my rent checks fall out and I just sat there with the dumbest look on my face. I ain't gonna do this. Another month go by, I'm getting eviction notices. Mom, stop playing. Like, if you don't give me this money, I'm gonna be homeless. <laughs> Call my mom. I said, Mom, I see what you did. You put it in the Bible. She said, did you read it? No, but I got the checks. <laughs> <laughs> What do you, don't... <laughs> what? Don't you laugh like, like that. <laughs> you look like a detective that's a DJ. Oh, like, yeah. you know? <laughs> I'm trying. This is why, why oh. I need therapy. That's me. That's me in high school. Oh. But, Whoa. Uh, but, yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh oh. like that. Don't... Whoa. That's oh, okay. What? Well, there's my picture. Whoa. Oh, cat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I hate that I'm standing right next to the stove. That's what I hate, right? <laughs> Like, there's no way for me to say I was a big child or nothing. Like, yeah. everything is right here. It's, it's the perspective No, no, right it's really there. bad. This yep. is really bad. I thought we were going to have some pretty good chemistry, but then it really exploded into a really cool bond and brotherhood. Uh, there is a mutual admiration. Kevin has a lot of drive and ambition. Um, you know, he's, his mouth is like the Energizer Bunny, but that's okay. I do that because that, I'm very like smart. Yeah, you go first. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what he did there, don't you? I'm not going to go first again. Okay. I bet you that. I'm not going first again I'm while I'm sitting here. I'm just saying, I have a lot of love and a lot of respect. Respect for you. At mine, I gave all. I was very positive the whole way through. <laughs> no, I know, but yeah, but I didn't throw any shots. You that wasn't a shot. To, I, but you waited. Energizer Bunny is actually a good thing. Like, that's why. That's why I don't like to go first. You see, it actually. You you see it on screen when we get together. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah. It's, and yeah. I also, I do a lot of the heavy lifting. Okay. That's all a, right. That's a, all right. Jumanji, welcome to well. the Jungle Isn't Here. What up? What up? What up? When people see you on the street. I know they know who you are, but there's some people who don't know, say, when are you going to fight Manny Pacquiao? <laughs> <laughs> Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather. Like Floyd Mayweather? A little bit. I can't fight like him, no. <laughs> my, my only two fights were with family, though. My cousin, my cousin Kimberly, she beat me bad. Uh, Kim, Kimberly beat me bad. Kimberly was a bad one. I never should have went in there. I wish I had his money, though. I wish Do you that. ever, did you, have you ever gotten in a fight? Oh, man, yeah, I've lost a couple, George, honestly. Uh, you know? I have no problem with being honest. People, my record isn't that good on the streets. Uh, <laughs> I was by myself. My cousin Kimberly grabbed my arm, slung me all over the floor. You know, the worst part about losing a fight is when you lose your shoe. Because then you gotta... 
You gotta go find your shoe. That's the worst part. I don't like that part. I don't like that part at all. Uh, my family hyped me up to do it. They was like, Kev, don't let her talk to you like that. You need to go hit her. And I was like, but you think like she's bigger? They was like, don't matter, man. Hit her. And I was like, well, if I miss, are y'all gonna help me? They was like, yeah, yeah, go. I went downstairs. I didn't see nobody behind me. <laughs> All right, you, 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 you were at probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Okay. And, and people that know, let, let, I want to ask you, everybody take a look at this video, and we're going to ask you to, to kind of narrate what was happening. <laughs> Puff had a party. Uh, he's called me, said, Kev, can you host a party with me? I said, yeah, dude. I said, I'll do it. I said, I'm in New York. So he said, look, we create this little sexy scene in the bathroom. It's going to be girls in the tub, you, Trey Songs, fabulous. I'm up there. I'm up there, and I'm hosting, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm promoting the party. I'm like, yeah, man, this is a nice event. You see, we up here in the tub. I hear Trey Songs behind me. Like, it's nice. It's going to look like it's the place to be. We're going to stream it. I said, oh, that's going to be hot. So we get up there. I'm hosting, you know? First of all, I'm a sex symbol, OK? So, <laughs> so <laughs> first of all, if somebody here is on fire, it's a panic. Like, you, you know, you, it's a yell, yo, yo, you're here. It's so, it should be crazy. You would have thought Trey was singing. This is all I heard. I heard, yo, your hair's on fire. Because, <laughs> like, literally, like, the flame, like, George, the, like, the flame grew. Like, it was like, it was like somebody threw gasoline on it. Like, so... <laughs> it was like an album. Like, like, it was one of his tracks. Like, yo, your hair's on fire. I turned around, I saw it, I was like, oh! At the end of the day, I don't, I don't want to die, you know? Oh, I don't yeah. know if you guys know, weaves are the most flammable thing out. Okay? A weave, if there had been another girl next to her with a weave, that thing would have caught faster than the forest fire. So I said, so I, when I saw I was like, ow, ow! But, so my first instinct was to save myself. Because, you know, at the end of the day, well, it's the truth. I just said, let me save myself. Now, to camera, I run, and I'm like, did you get that on tape? Only reason why I said that is because I didn't really get to see the whole thing. <laughs> so I wanted, to, I, I, I wanted to see it all. What can you pass along to your kids that they would understand? Uh, well, you know what, George, it's funny you say that, because uh, I've, been, I've been having a hard time with figuring out the type of life lessons, you know, that, I, that I'm trying to hand my kids. You know, basically, <laughs> as a father, you want to teach your kids certain things. Oh. I think, I think it's safe to say you were probably raised very, very tough, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Tough from family. The yeah, from the street. Do you, do you, <laughs> do you, my main thing is teaching my son how to fight. And now, how old is he? My son's three. Okay. Now, no, 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 look, you don't, you don't see what goes on in these daycares. All right, these little kids are crazy. Here's the one thing, like, okay, my daughter, and this is me being very honest, you guys, my daughter's a little princess, beautiful, she's spoiled. So, you know, I'm one way with her, but with my son, I'm like, I live in LA, I'm in the valley, you know, my son ain't around tough kids, all right? I caught a little boy putting paste in my son's mouth, that's when I had enough. I said, I'm gonna teach my son how to defend himself. Now, the only problem I'm having, my son, my son thinks he's Spider-Man, George, for real. Like, listen. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. So I go to pick him up from school, right? This little boy is hitting my son in the head with a truck, right? My son on the floor doing this. <laughs> like, like when we play, he wet me. He like, like, listen. Like, but because I'm dad, like because I'm his dad, when he does it, I gotta act like I'm caught. I'm like, oh no, you know, let me out, let me out. <laughs> I yelled, I got so mad. I said, boy, you're not, get your ass up. You're not Spider-Man, man. You're not Spider-Man. <laughs> he tried to get me while I was talking, but I had to play. I was like, okay, let me out, let dad out. <laughs> Y'all laughing, I'm being so serious, man. My household, <laughs> son is in trouble if I don't save him. He really thinks he's Spider-Man, George. Oh, what, don't what? judge. Don't judge my son. Okay. <laughs> I had my son come here and web this whole audience right now. My son will web all y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all better act like y'all caught in the net. <laughs> well, I'm from Philadelphia, you guys. Uh, you know, city where it go down that. I don't know. All right, so listen. So my, look, I don't know. I don't know what that was. I, I saw it in the video. So look. So, I'm from a school of A's, B's, and C's. You know, D's are bad, F's are bad. So in my mind, I'm like, 
you got worse than an F. Like, you got an E? I get five. I said, like, how, how dumb is my baby to get an E? I almost punched my daughter in the forehead. But I had to stop. No, I'm serious. Only reason I didn't do it because my son was like, and he stopped me. So I couldn't. I couldn't. I was ready to punch. My son stopped me. Oh, my God. She was like, no, no. Like, her mom told me it was excellent and good. But that just made me even more angry because I'm like, who gave y'all the audacity in California to change these things? Okay? No, no. For years, it was A's, B's, and C's. E's and G's? Don't nobody do that. Like, you got little cars that I can promote. You know, give me something that I can get out of cool. I'm jumping out this bag on truck. <laughs> I'm serious, George. I fell twice in the commercial. I fell two times. That's the subject. For the next party, man, in case it gets out of control, <laughs> I blinged out. Uh, <laughs> go. Pick up two of my friends. You cool with that? Okay. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Good. You know, you got it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, rule number one. Don't f this up. Max. Hey, man. Fuck it. Hey, hey. Tupac was one of the biggest thugs I know, and he always wore his seat. That's a good point. That's a really good point. All right, here we go. Slow down. Jesus, why'd she take off all crazy? You're the funny friend zone guy. No, I'm not. Women don't put me in the friend zone. When they see me, first thing that comes to mind is I want to bump bellies. Man. Only when you score a touchdown. <laughs> I, I done been in the end zone lots of times. And let me tell you something, when I get in there, I dance. What do you mean? Driving a car without power windows is a big mistake. I can't do this all day. And do you know how stupid this looks? And you go, mother uh -huh. <laughs> Look how stupid I look. How y'all doing? How you doing there? You good? We looking for marijuana. Yeah, we're gonna buy weed. Have you done crack? No. Okay. Booger sugar? Booger sugar? You're in here doing coke through your butt? They say it get in the rush. I just want to know Kevin and how that conversation goes. Keep going. What's your favorite fast food? Um, Popeyes. Mm. Popeyes? <laughs> oh! Diana, I almost married you just now. <laughs> That's an insane amount of smoke. What are you talking about? Man? This is like a Cheech and Chong movie up front. <laughs> you cracked your window, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're going to jail. You're blocking a crosswalk right now? Sir, here's a good thing about me. First and foremost, I'm a Christian. And what I learned is that Jesus once walked on water. I don't know where I'm going with this, guys. I'm really proud of it. We got to think. You are ready for your driver's test. Isn't she ready now, guys? No, you are. Listen, and if the instructor mm -hmm. says anything that mm -hmm. you don't like, you throw a battery at his ass. <laughs> this chicken? Crack. Uh-uh. Crack cocaine right here. I wonder if you could take this up. The butt? The butt. I would do it. That's the only time I would do it. Diana, you okay, man. Look, Hold I'm on. not saying that I'm scared, because I'm not, but this ain't safe. We've been on the phone for some time right now, and it looks like we selling ass. I mean, you... That's the look you guys to That ain't the look I want to put out to the world. Hey, hey cool white boy. His jeans be tight, though. His jeans do be tight. His jeans is tight. I mean, damn. Look, look like Conan go. back pockets touching right now. I ain't never seen nothing like a fella. Are any of you girls single? I am. Anthony, this is when you ask for the number. This is amazing. This is Anthony. Anthony, put... Put put huge penis next to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how she gonna know it's you. Show her your tip. Grab the stuff. We you, man. He's on my ass. He's on my ass. We straight. We straight. Man, I gotta go back. I left my brown bag. Oh. <laughs> I ain't got no socks on. <laughs> You got no socks. I got no socks on, man. Think how much they'd be cheering if you had socks. No, 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 no. His top lip is always straight. <laughs> That's all day, all day. That's his lip, all day. Q, you want to eat? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, I guess. You know what Q does that annoys me, though? He, he makes noises every time he sits down or gets up. 
Really? Like, like what? Like, <clears throat> <laughs> like, it, it makes me so mad. I don't know. Like, you know how people do stuff that gets under your skin a little bit? And when I'm sitting there messing with you about your walk, I do things like that to him all day. Right. All day, man. Right. But not, he don't walk like you. But it's not, I'm saying, if, if he did, if he did, I would, I would give it to him the same. Right. He right? Just, he, like, he's a rocker. When it's time yeah. to get up, he's like, uh. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's not 80 yeah. years old. Yeah, he's a it's hilarious. The ready, set, go, get up her.